Um, we're finding that in the PC space, kind of the traditional online space, that, uh, that things are not growing quite as much and quite as fast as we would have hoped. And we've had a couple uh, launches recently, like the Sims Online, that just haven't been up to our expectations. Um, thankfully, we're finding that growth uh, is there on the console online. And uh, so for Arcadia's product, Lord of the Rings and, and Bond are both online and console. And we believe that's a kind of a key component uh, for online success. And you know, EA finds itself in a pretty good position. We've made a huge investment into online. And, uh, and we think that's going to pay off. But we feel like creating communities and having, having people play over the television set you know, in one state, in one side of the country, the other side of the country really is, is a really important feature for our products. And we think there's a lot of growth. The commercial side of that, how you monetize that, is still very much to be determined. We, we have not really, no one's really cracked that nut just yet. Right now, it's just a, a free feature. The next generation with PS3 and Xbox 2, there's a chance we'll be able to monetize that, but right now that is, you know, that is very much, you know, hanging out, hanging out as a question mark. Uh, from a design standpoint, and what online offers us the opportunity is to create that community and stickiness that has people coming back because, um, you know, what you're playing with or interacting with is not, you know, sort of, you know, the the the. the you know, just the machine, it's actually real live organic people, you know? And so I think from a design standpoint, um, you know, playing or exploring um, what online might be able to do for us in games is, has been really exciting. Um, there's a lot of ground that hasn't been broken yet. And, um, you know, and, you know, sort of in the, in the business model about what, how we monetize that just kind of comes along with it, so. 